Hey, what's up everyone? And welcome you to my another video tutorial. In this session, I will be talking about the Mac terminal or more specifically, how to change directory in the Mac terminal. In my videos, I'm using the Mac terminal quite a lot. And now I will explain to you a few basic features that I cannot live without, which are really good to know if you want to use your Mac terminal and you want to navigate through the directories. When I open my Mac terminal, I'm usually always located in the home directory. And where exactly this is, you can find always using the command pwd. If you type pwd and hit enter, it will tell you exactly where you are right now. And now you can list the contents of the directory using the command ls. Press enter. And now you will see the contents of your directory listed in front of you. If you would like to change the directory for another, the easiest way to do this is using the command cd, which means change directory. What you can do now is to, for example, go to the movies. If you write movies just like this and hit enter and then check once again where you are by using the pwd command and hit enter, and you can see I am located in user software development movies and also here I can see right next to my user the movies directory and if I want to list the contents of my movies directory now I use again the list command which is specified by simply just ls so if you write ls and hit enter you will see the contents of your movies directory you should have one there even if it is empty and now let's say that we are done in the movies directory and we would like to go back so we do it again by using the cd which means change directory and two dots if you do it and then write pwd to find out where you are you will see you are back again in your home directory and you can again list the contents of your home directory using the ls command here and now let's say you would like to go somewhere more far you would like to go explore the contents of your root directory this is how you go directly into your root directory i wrote cd space and slash and now when i hit enter and i write pwd i will be in the root directory and if i now list the contents of my root directory i will see this you will for sure have something very similar so let's say now i will want to go to my volumes directory and let's learn here something new now the interesting thing is that i do not need to write the entire name of the volumes directory because it's the only one which begins with vo i will only write cd space vo and i will press tab and now i'm presented by the whole functional name of the volumes directory i will press enter i will write pwd i will see that i am in the volumes directory and when i now list the contents of my volumes directory i will see all the partitions and hard drives which are connected to my notebook what is interesting is this make extended partition here. I will copy this to my command line and I will try to go there. But if I do this mistake now, then I will get an error saying that there are too many arguments and I cannot go there. This is because the cd command thinks that these are also parts of a command because something is missing there. If you see that there are spaces in the name of some folder where it would like to go, then you have to use apostrophe on the beginning and at the end of the name of the folder. So now I went there and if I now write pwd, I will be in my Mac extended partition volume. This might be quite hard to understand on the beginning, but if you get some training in it, you will see it becomes really very intuitive to use these things. And now I can say I am somewhere very far away from my home directory and from my movies, which I was checking at the beginning. And I am wondering if there is some easy way how I can get back there and the answer is yes there is i can simply just go back to my home directory by writing cd and nothing else so i will write cd i will press enter and now i will be in my home directory if i now write pwd i will be back to users software development and now when i will try to list the contents of my home directory using the ls command I will see everything which is inside. Now let's say I want to go back to where I was, back to make extended partition and I don't want to go through all the hassle of going to 
the root folder and then volumes and so on. I just want to go back to where I was. You do it using CD, white space, minus, and there you are back where you just arrived from. Write PWD and you see it listed here. Do again the same and you are back again in the home directory. At the first sight, this might look difficult for you, but I assure you that by using it really long time, when it becomes intuitive and fast, then you will see you can navigate back and forth maybe easier than by clicking a mouse. You will, for example, remember directories which are somewhere. Like, for example, the most used one by me is this one. In the root folder, there is the USR directory, and in that USR directory, there is a bin directory. I can go there just like that and list everything which is inside of it. And then I can go back again to my home directory and go check my movies. And that's it. That's how you can use Mac Terminal to change directories. Please like, comment, and if this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, don't forget to subscribe. See you soon.